Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're going to talk about a sign that's not heard of often, but is a good indicator that you're on the right track to achieving your goals. Let's dive in. Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to another video. I'm glad you're here. Today we're gonna talk about one sign that is uncommon and I think a lot of people don't talk about when it comes to a progress check. If you're on track with achieving your goals, whether of course that's fitness or your business or personal goals, personal life, relationships, things like that. And what I've noticed with myself and to cut to the chase here right away, that the uncommon sign is that shit's boring <laughs> and you're just going, it, it starts to become tedious. And I think this is a great indicator because if you look back on what was once challenging for you to do is now becoming kind of tedious and almost feels like you're going through the motions, but yet you're seeing results and you're noticing improvements as a result of you continuing to do this thing that is moving the needle forward for you, then you are on the right track. So the reason I am making this video today and the way this comes up is because I've been, you know, really on a steady, consistent pace with everything in my life with, you know, the two main focuses with bodybuilding, with my diet, with my nutrition, my workouts, obviously. Uh, but then my business and the social media aspect of things, making content, YouTube videos, uh, reels every day. And it's starting to get tedious. It's starting to get old. Um, last Saturday, I actually missed the day intentionally. I was aware that I was not going to record a video on YouTube. I thought about for a second. And it's so funny when you fall into a routine and a habit, you know, and you break that habit, it's less about the actual activity, it's more about the integrity behind it. So I struggled with that a little bit on Saturday. But anyways, I just felt like I needed a break, like I was burning out. Uh, I feel like I needed a break on my body. I took an extra two days off of rest last week because uh, my body was starting to break down a little bit. And I've just been grinding. So why am I bringing this up? Why is this important for you? Because there are going to be times in your life when you're going along your path and you're pursuing a goal. This very, happens very often in fitness. And we'll use that, of course, as an example here. That people or you will be going along and you started to work out and you're starting to see results and you changed your diet and things are going really well. And then all of a sudden something kind of knocks you off track. Maybe it's a holiday or you go out of town or you miss a workout for a, week, uh, you know, a couple workouts for the week. It just throws your whole rhythm off. And then most people, what they do is they just stop and go, well, it's already screwed. I'm just going to stop completely. So this is a reminder and a sign that if you're in that point where it's tedious and it's boring, but you're seeing the results. So you use working out again. You're like, God, I'm feeling better. My clothes fit better. Um, I can see my body changing and then you start to get really bored like Fuck, I'm eating the same thing I'm like sick of tracking my food and going to the gym. I'm just kind of burnt like it's getting old This is the time that you should not stop and you should double down Double down do not stop work even harder go even harder stay consistent be on it I know it's tough to do but what you have to realize is that this is the challenge that you're being faced with in order to break through to the next level. It's like you've worked hard to create these new habits, this new identity, and you're seeing these results from it. But, you know, we just get bored. We're humans, right? We need variety. And this is where the discipline, the consistency comes in. But if you just keep going along the same path and doing what you're doing, knowing it's getting results, you've seen it, you've proved it, it's, you're just bored of it, you got to keep going. You got to keep going because you're on the verge of breaking through to another level and reaching a you know, threshold level of success on your goal of benchmark. And so this is a reminder, this video, is that the common, uncommon sign or the common sign, whatever, that you're on uh, the right path to your goals is that you're just feeling bored. Um, you know, you haven't achieved the goal that you want yet, but it's bored, it's tedious, it's like, you know, it's, it's almost like this, I'll describe it as this like little kid feeling like, oh God, I got to do this again, blah, blah, blah. No, you're on the right path. You're on the right path and you're seeing great results. So uh, a personal example for me to take it out of frame, you know, for yourself and kind of see someone else, uh, what I'm talking about, illustrate it, um, illustrate 
the point I'm making from a different perspective and seeing it outside of yourself. That's the point of sharing a personal example here. So I've been, like I said, posting consistently uh, on everything, on all the platforms, on YouTube and Instagram and stuff. And a couple of weeks ago, maybe like, I don't know, three, four weeks ago, and I had a real go viral on Instagram. And um, it didn't go like, you know, super viral, like millions of views, but it got, I think, like a couple hundred thousand, just the most I've ever had. But what happened was it like triggered the algorithm and it like put me into the algorithm. So um, and now every reel that I post gets like, I don't know, 10 to 20,000 views regularly. And I, I don't know, I, I've gotten like, I don't know, maybe like, a, honestly, like eight, seven, 800 followers in the past, like a couple of weeks or whatever it is. So I'm, what I'm realizing is that's the results part, right? That's the results part of what I'm experiencing that, oh, cool, this stuff is working. I'm, I'm putting out quality content. I'm getting a lot of messages. I'm getting, you know, I'm starting a lot of conversations. I'm um, noticing my following is growing. Same thing with my YouTube. I'm up to, it says 138 right now. So, I'm, and I started, gosh, I remember, I remember when I only I started, I had like two people, right? It's pretty wild. And I was like, oh, cool. I hit a hundred. And then hitting 100 like a week ago, I'm already up to 138. And so it's, it's growing. But here's what I've realized and why I'm sharing this with you again is it's like, it's boring and it's tedious. And, you know, I, I do love it. I, I literally, it's truly fulfilling and pleasurable for me to share my knowledge and experiences in YouTube video form content like this vlog, not even vlogging content, I guess, talking head or whatever the genre is. Um, it's truly enjoyable for me. The reels are a little more tedious, um, but I, it's obviously for a purpose. It's for like, you know, it's just part of the strategy, right? Marketing and all these things. But anyways, point being, I'm bored. I'm like, Sh God, should I change things up? Should I, you know, do I need to pursue something else? Like, you know, I haven't converted um, a ton of the attention I'm getting yet into new business and stuff. I'm like, okay. All right, so uh, you know, I'm having these questions, right? I'm like, am I doing the right thing? Uh, I'm seeing results, but anyways, what I've realized and what I boiled it down to is that I know I'm on the right path. I'm seeing results, every single thing is growing. I'm just bored because I'm playing a long game here. And if I look back on my life, everything that I didn't achieve was only because I quit and I stopped. And I usually stopped at a certain point when I was either bored or it got too difficult. Um, or I started to question myself or just outright self-sabotage myself about to experience success, but subconsciously thinking, oh, I don't deserve this. So kind of like sabotaging it, but we'll get too deep into that stuff. Point being is that I didn't reach the goal because I didn't stick it out long enough in order to see the result that I wanted. So if you're bored, but it's a grand goal, remember that this is a process and it takes a long time. There isn't, what I'm realizing is with everything, with building a business, with, you know, building your finances, a relationship, getting in shape, all this stuff. There's really no secret or crazy magic pill to a lot of this shit. The most successful people, what I'm realizing what they do is they do very simple things over an extended period of time consistently without missing, without stopping, with no breaks. There's not like, no, there's just, it's a non-negotiable. It's like you do this shit and you do it for a long period of time. Like businesses that have grown into great empires, all they did was do the simple things very, very well and then just scaled it over and over. So that's where I'm learning. I'm like, God, I've just got to get good at making content. I've got to get good at making content and building an audience and um, then generating the products for that audience. And this is how I'm growing my business. This is, and it's going to take time. Like I'm not even a year into getting back into training. I started in, what is it? April? Yeah, officially back in April of this year. So I'm not even at, you know, what is it, eight months or so? Um, and it takes years, you know, um, it takes years. So remind yourself that this is a long game. Fitness, it's a long game. If you're building a business, it takes gonna take like four or five years to really like, you know, see if it's if it's there, right? If you're building um, a relationship, you know, with the family, like, sure, there are, you know, times when you know, we've all heard stories where people meet each other, they get married right away and they start having kids within like a year or two years. But most people don't want to, you know, build a relationship, get to know the person, take time. This all takes time. Um, so this is a sign again, if you're bored and you're starting to question yourself and you're like thinking about switching paths, cause I've been thinking that too, all this other stuff about all these other, you know, making money and all that. And I know I'll be successful in whatever I do. Um, and the, 
when I see those things that come up on my feed and all this stuff and they're like, you know, try this out and make a lot of money. And like, I know these people are legitimately, they, they seem, seem like normal people like you and I, and they're legitimately just, they figured out whatever their hustle is and they really are making money off it. And I know that I can and you can too. It's just, again, a matter of the effort. So when I come back to that and I'm like, damn, should I try to start another one of these things on the side of like what I'm already doing? And what I realize is if I start something on the side, even though I'm already got this going, it's just going to distract me. And then the reality is I'm not going to probably not going to be, you know, successful. It's not going to like blow my socks off and shit, you know, uh, to the level that these people are having success to where they're advertising it. They probably worked at it for a long time. You're just not seeing any of that, those other things. So it doesn't mean it's not going to take work. And that's what I'm realizing. There's no magic pill. So I kind of put myself in check and I'm like, dude, you're already doing this. You know what your vision is? This is in alignment with who you are and what you enjoy. You're pursuing bodybuilding. Um, you know, you're doing personal development content on YouTube and you'll be doing more fitness stuff on YouTube also. It's like, this is, you're already, you're already grooved in, man. Like everything's growing. I'm getting great feedback. I'm doing it. And then, um, again, just getting bored, um, thinking, questioning like, shit, am I doing the right thing? I'm like, yeah, I am. Like everything is growing. I just need to, it's funny. I'm having like a realization an epiphany right on camera right now in this moment. I'm like, damn, this is literally the time that I usually quit either when I start seeing success or after I've like overcome a couple of hurdles. Um, and then it's like, it's funny. It's like the old me, right? It's the shiny object syndrome. I'm like, oh shit, man, they're making a bunch of money doing this. I could do that too. This guy's like, if this guy can do it, I can do it. Right. And so I'm tempted to like look into these other avenues and then again, the maturity, I think it's just like, bro, relax, chill out, continue on your path, continue to do what you're doing. Um, you're helping people, you're making a difference. Like, you know, everything is growing, just continue to do it. And then it's funny when my sister, uh, when my sister's texting me, um, she, I uh, texted, sorry, I had a client bring up on my phone, but anyways, she checked in this morning. She just like, she's like, Hey, you doing okay? Just noticed your last video six days ago. wanted to check in hope all's well, you know, whatever. I told her, I was like, yeah, it's just tedious right now. Like I needed a little break. Um, but then she sent me the message and she's like, your subscribers have doubled in a month and your shorts get tons of views. You're doing great. Uh, PJ, that's my initials. Um, stick to it. And it's funny. It was like after this moment of doubt this morning, um, after this moment of doubt this morning, it was, um, it was interesting to kind of get that text message, right? Uh, you know, synchronistically just sending me that like, Hey, you're doing great. I don't know if you realize like your YouTube viewers had doubled in a month. And I was like, shit, I didn't notice that, but that's cool. Um, cause again, like I said, I've just been in the grind in the process of like, okay, like how do we do this? Like, you know, let's figure this out. So if you're bored, I get it. Um, but remember, I think what's helping me or what I need to do right now also is refocus on the vision, refocus on the vision and the end goal and just take a moment to feel and see what this current path that you're on is going to feel like in another six months and another year. Will you look back and go, damn, that was like, I, you know, I achieved what I wanted. Or in other words, look, look six months ahead from now or a year from now. If you're continue, if you continue along the same path and you're seeing the same results and doing the same thing, even though it may be tedious, is it going to get you to where you ultimately want to be? And then the question is, allow yourself to daydream and just take yourself there. Like, what's it going to be like when I'm living that life? Like, what's it going to be like? Cause I, these are the things that we're doing right now in order to get us there. So as I look to, you know, look in the camera here, or so whatever, just my apartment right here, it's next to my window. And I just, am at, like, I have everything laid out. I'm like, what's it going to be like when my uh, business is running the way that I want? When, um, you know, I'm making X amount of dollars, when I've got a lot more freedom, like what are the little things going to be like? Like, is my style going to change? Like, am I going to dress differently? Am I, will I move? You know, what is that going to be like? Like, what will that, you know, freedom be like? What will the relationships, what are the different circles of people I'm, I'm going to be around? Um, cause I, me personally, like, and you should too, I made videos on this. You should have a vision and like a master plan. Um, and I do, I have a very clear vision, very, ma very like clear master plan of how this is all going to work. Um, again, I'm just, I realize it's a long-term goal. So I have to, I have to just put in the work daily and it's not going to be, 
Sexy at times is not going to be flashy. It's going to be boring as shit. You're not going to feel like doing it. You're going to question yourself. You're going to like, damn, should I give up? I'm like, no, no, don't. Um, and another, uh, you know, another, um, whatchamacallit, two other anecdotes or, or stories I'll share. I hear a lot of these guys that I watch that are influencers and that, you know, I consume their content, right? And um, they all talk about it. And even my old workout partner who we both made YouTube channels and he, his is blowing up and he's crushing it. He said the same thing. All these guys say the same thing. Um, they say, man, you know, what you don't realize is I was posting for years. Like I was posting for years, like two or three years regularly and nobody, you know, no one was following me. It didn't matter. And then it's almost like overnight it happens um, and you like blow up, you get all this attention and then people are like, oh, you know, or you have a video video go viral and they're like, oh, the, who the hell is this person, whatever. And that's literally how it happens with a lot of these guys on the internet and girls, um, influencers just posting content consistently. It's engaging people and then over a period of time, uh, it, it's just putting in the work, it starts to accumulate. It's the same thing that happened. So the story with my old workout partner when we started YouTube channels, um, he was dead serious about it and still is, um, even though he's achieved a ton of success and that's part of why I fired mine up because I'm like, I know it's possible. Um, but yeah, he, he's a real smart guy and he would, he reverse engineered everything and he was like, I, he's like, I get it, man. Like I see how he's like, I've watched so many fitness YouTubers and I've actually gone back and I studied their channels and I scrolled back through all their videos. I scrolled back through all their videos and I looked, I said, you know, what is it? What was this guy like in the video uh, in the beginning? What were the quality of his videos like? How was he filming? How was he shooting? You know, what was um, his view count? All this stuff. And it was the same. He said the same thing that all these guys that are successful in social media stuff say. He's like, dude, I've studied them. It's almost like for two years or like three years, they might have like a thousand, two thousand, and then all of a sudden they'll have like fifteen thousand views. Um, you know, on a video, but then it goes back to like 1,000. He's like, and then overnight, it's like 160,000, you know, 24,000, 380,000 on one video. And you go back down to 10,000 on the next one, and then 18,000. And then all of a sudden, it's consistently over 100,000, over 100,000. And now you're getting subscribers by the hundred by the day. And he's like, but it took like two or three years. And he's like, I've studied like five or six channels, and they all have that same growth trajectory. Well, they're posting, no one's watching any of their shit for like a couple of years and then it blows up. So this is also, you know, again, cliche, but it's true what they say. That's why you enjoy the process. You know, the journey is the destination because if you don't like doing this stuff, like posting or whatever the little menial tasks are, you simply won't make it because this shit does get more. Cause I really do like doing these videos, um, but it still takes time and effort. It's the same thing. I do love training people. I do love like helping people and writing their programs and things like that. Um, it's, you know, again, it's just, this all takes time. So if you're bored, stick to it. You're on the right track. That's the main message for today. And hopefully what you'll do is either make sure you have that vision for your life and imagine, you know, yourself living that life. Now, are you doing the types of activities now that are going to get you there? And that when you get there, these are still the activities you're going to do. Cause that's what I realized. Like when I have my channels up to like, you know, whatever, 10, 20, 30, 40, 100,000 subscribers, I'm still going to be making videos like this, man. Like I'm still going to be doing this. <laughs> like this is the process, you know? Um, it's the same thing with like workouts and building my business. I'm still going to be, you know, writing people's programs and coaching them and things like that. Um, I'm doing them. It just, uh, it takes time. And that's also one of the things I'll share with my business mentor said to me, he said, you know, life happens in four year inter intervals. Right, you've got like middle school, high school, college. Um, it's all like four year intervals and degrees. So you've got to focus on your goals, your business, or whatever goal you have in like a as like a four year degree. So you should have um, you know, a vision for how you want these things to work out over the next five years. Give it, you know, when I started getting back into training and YouTube and all these things, I told myself, I was like, I'm gonna give myself just no questions asked just three years of solid consistent effort and if it doesn't grow the way that i want it to grow um well then obviously i'll re recalibrate and switch paths um, but i i just need to give this all you know three three honestly five years right three to five years of really developing this stuff um but i just i've come so far i've already grown so much and i have so many people around me that have been successful doing these things and i know that it really is just a matter of time so it's just a reminder for you it's a matter of time 
fall in love with the medial uh, tediousness of the tasks and you will succeed. So appreciate you watching. Uh, stay tuned. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave any comments, ask me any questions you like, and I'll see you next time. Peace.